Hey, what's up everybody? Kevin Walsh from Ninja Holistic Health and Fitness. Welcome back to this month's video series of Healthy Fats. So we're on week four right now, which is the action plan of all the things that I've basically given you in the preceding weeks and kind of putting it into a little framework that you can take into your everyday life. So the first week, of course, we went over what healthy fats are, why they're important. Two was brain function and training performance or exercise performance. And then three was the list of the fats that you want to eat as well as a list of those that you want to avoid and stay away from. So we'll kind of culminate here and put everything together in a little plan that you can actually use in your everyday life and some tactics that are going to help you as you go along so that you can be as healthy as possible in regards to your diet. Alright, so the first thing here is lifestyle incorporation. So uh, eating fats in the morning really help you to curb PM eating or overeating. So for those of you who might struggle with eating too much like late at night or binging even, if you eat fats earlier in the day, things like say avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, they are uh, about nine calories per gram and they're much more satiating than carbohydrates and proteins. So if you eat them earlier in the day, it'll help to kind of stave off any potential um, desires to eat more later in the day. It's a very good tool I've used for people with weight loss and I've used it with myself back when I was 210 pounds to lose weight on my own journey. So definitely very effective. Uh, saturated fats are best to cook with. They're the most stable. They have the most stable bond around them on a molecular level. So coconut oil, butter are gonna be the best ones. If you cook with olive oil, that's fine, but make sure it's at a low temperature, no higher than low to medium, ideally, so that you have the lowest amount of uh, free radical or oxidative damage. And uh, salads are really good, so if you can eat salads with uh, whatever fats you consume, and fats can kind of go with anything, you know, salad-wise, like nuts, olive oil, hemp seeds, if you can kind of combine those two, that'll help the digestive process as well. So that'll kind of keep the, the whole digestive system running on track. And then finally, just be creative. So get them in any way you want. You know, whatever you can do to kind of get them in the diet taste-wise and preference-wise during the day is really the most important thing. All right, number two is be strategic. Think like a ninja when you're doing this, okay? Read labels. When you're out at grocery stores, this is the most critical piece when it comes to diet. Look for these two labels right here. So this is the non-GMO verified sticker. This little butterfly with the uh, green and blue square that basically ensures that there's no genetically modified organisms or tampering, GMO tampering done with the foods or constituents in uh, the package um, that you're going to buy. And then the certified organic uh, sticker basically means that there's no Roundup sprayed on there, there are no pesticides or chemicals. So if you combine these two on any given thing that you purchase, you're going to be in the clear. Well, make sure that you have these at all times. Anytime you see fats, especially um, things like soy or canola or cottonseed or corn. Those are really some of the main oils that are genetically modified that you want to be very, very mindful of. 99% um, of restaurants cook with GMO oils, and this I cannot emphasize enough. If you go to an expensive restaurant, it may cost a lot, it may be great um, uh, ambiance, and the food may taste really, really good, but the chances of there being grass-fed butter used or, um, you know, uh, say uh, coconut oil or something like that, or the, the animals that you're eating, say it's uh, chicken or beef, actually being pasture-raised or grass-fed are almost zero, unless it states uh, specifically on the actual menu. So make sure when you're going out that if it says grass-fed beef, you know you're in the clear, but if it does not, that you ask the, uh, the waiter or the waitress and see if they can get the answer from the chef, and that'll tell you, because I can tell you otherwise, the chances are 99 to one that you're eating something that's genetically modified. They use canola oil, um, corn oil, soy, primarily whenever they're cooking with things. So be mindful of that. And the way that you can buffer that is just eat at home. So the more you eat at home, the more you can control your environment and you can eat the foods that are gonna be best suited for your body. And it's obviously a lot cheaper. And uh, last thing here is more omega-3 fats and less omega-6. So omega-3s are DHA and EPA that you're looking to get into the body most importantly. And those come from wild caught fish, like salmon, mackerel, tuna, etc. The omega-6s, these are coming from all those oils like the safflower oils, sunflower oils, etc. that are most commonly used in packaged foods and in uh, you know, restaurants. So the ideal ratio is gonna be somewhere around like two to one or three to one between the six to threes, between this to this. For the average American, it's somewhere, I believe, between like 15 to one and 20 to one, or even higher, which is very, very dangerous. We wanna have a closer proximity between these two for good overall health. All right, and the last thing is the brands. So these are some of the brands that are really good for these following items. So for butter, 
Kerrygold, Vital Farms, and Smure are two are three really good butter brands that I found. They're all grass fed. And uh, for coconut oil, Dr. Bronner's, Nutiva, and Garden of Life. And for dark chocolate, these are just three. There are a lot more. Uh, Alter Eco, Theo, and Equal Exchange. And again, if you're getting chocolate, just make sure you have that non-GMO verified sticker on the on the bar and the certified organic as well. And that'll keep you in the clear and make sure it's 70% cacao or higher. So that's it right there. So you got some you know tools that you can use to your advantage. And one more thing is I'll leave a link uh, in the email here with a lot more brands than just this. This is just three items, butter, coconut oil, chocolate. Um, I think they're about 15 to 20, if I'm uh, correct, on that uh, PDF that I have attached. So you can look at that, and there's a whole plethora of different brands for all kinds of different things, peanut butters, almond butters, etc., that uh, you can check out. And again, use to your advantage. I'm kind of cutting some of the, you know, the unnecessary research that you have to do out of this so that you can you know, just go to the grocery store and get this done. So that's it. That's week four. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that was helpful. And please share this with family and friends. You know, my big dream and my, my mission with all of this, with giving free information, is to grow a community of people who are seeking to achieve their biggest health and fitness goals and need a resource of information to help them get there. And that's what I'm trying to provide with all this. So if you could do me a favor, since um, I'm really giving this for free for you know everybody out there, just refer this to five friends or family. Refer these to five friends or family, this video series. And what you can do is send their email, if they're interested in getting it, to me at kwninjatrainer at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to throw them onto the list and uh, help them as well with, we, uh, with uh, you know, all the information as we go along. So with that said, thank you again. And uh, next month is going to be on the exercise pillar. And we're going to get into stretching and some correctives and how you can basically correct your own posture and kind of be your own chiropractor from home. Uh, so I'll catch you next month. Stay healthy and uh, safe eating.